guys, Matt, Iron Trap Garage, working on the free tee again. Uh, so in the last couple videos, we've been just kind of tying up some loose ends um, and just working on stuff. I think I mentioned it in one of the last videos. I uh, didn't film a lot of little things I've been doing, like bracing and stuff like that on the car. Uh, just because it's kind of hard to film. It's under the dash or, or, or in corners that really you can't see what's going on. Um, I don't think you guys would really... Uh, be able to see anything, so it wouldn't be that interesting. So, but this is something small that I think is kind of fun that I've been meaning to do, and I thought I'd film the process. So, I got this uh, little breather piece. I'm not really sure what it is. Maybe for a heater. I bought a pile of parts from uh, a media blasting shop that's local to me. Uh, the guy did a bunch of restoration work for an older gentleman that had early Fords. Um, he has since passed on and they, the state sold all of his stuff. I bought out all the leftovers he had there. It was basically the stuff that was the extras that wasn't really usable or he didn't use in restoration because it was doubles, whatever. Um, this piece, this mystery piece here, came in one of the boxes of parts. Um, and like I said, I think it looks like it's something for like a heater or maybe would have sat on top of um, like the carb or something. Um, somebody might know. It looks familiar, but I just can't place what it is. Uh, but anyways, when I was looking at this, I thought to myself, this would be perfect for a little blister for the cow steering on the tee. So, held it up, and man, it looks pretty cool. It looks like it would work. Just some little bit of slicing and dicing. It's already got the shape built into it like I would need. So, while I could build this piece myself, I thought, why not repurpose an old Ford part and use it on the car? And instead of throwing it away or getting scrapped, it, get you, it gets used for a hot rod and repurposed for another life. So I'm going to take this little piece here, I'm going to trim off the backside area that we don't need, and just see what I can do to get this thing cut up and fit it on the car. So let's get started. So, I've got the bottom of this piece cut, I just made a rough mark on it just so I could just start creeping up on it to get it to fit well. Uh, so I put that mark in there, cut it out roughly, and now you can kind of see what we're going for. So it fits over the arm there, and it's going to slide over the arm, cover that kind of center hub area so it's a little clean, uh, a little more clean, and now I just kind of have to start uh, cutting away even further to get this arm, uh, so give it some more clearance, and then it can fit kind of over top of this arm a little better, let it sit on the body a little better, and then we'll be uh, moving pretty good. So I'm going to keep trimming, and hopefully I can get this thing to fit without too much drama. We will see. It may or may not work, but uh, I'm hoping that I can make this thing work with just a little bit of uh, modification. Okay, you can see you can see I got the uh, the blister. On there looks really cool. Um, from the right angle, it looks like it's almost done. But man, that looks really cool. It's funny that it's even black uh, to match the rest of the car. Uh, but what you can't see, or when you what you can see, is when we get closer here. Um, because the cow 
has a curve to it there. Uh, it's and this piece is flat. The blister is meant to fit on a flat surface. Uh, it's sitting off in the back, so I can either te I can teeter totter where it sits off in the front or off in the back. So what I could do, one of the things I could do, I was thinking about it, is I could somewhere in here put a little pie cut in it. Uh, the bottom's already relieved, and I could kind of bend it around and make it fit, um, which may work. Um, the only thing I'm a little worried about is it's going to change the shape in here. So by me pie cutting it and bending it, it might give it like a kink right in here, and it's not going to have that nice smooth flow to it. The other thing we can do um, is we can cut right along here and basically add a little section in here to take up this gap. So we'll basically we could uh, make this flange come out and tight against the body and then make a little tiny piece that fills in around it and then it will have that um, flow to it to match the cow. Now the only downside to that is, is it does start making that blister a little bulky. Um, you, know, you can see there the way it sits that's going to be a good I don't know, inch, two inches, it's at the widest point where it's going to be larger. So I really need to stare at this and decide what's best. Um, but I want to show you guys how it's fitting there. You can see underneath how I have the, the hole cut. I'm going to need to most definitely open that up at some point before we finish the project. But now that it's opened up enough to fit around the arm, I can really see where I'm at. And, you know, we can see that first problem we have to overcome here is that gap in the back of the blister. But... Man, this is gonna look really freaking cool. I can't wait, it's awesome. Alright, so I got this piece, uh, the, the welds all sanded down, I did a tiny bit of hammer and dolly work, uh, and then I just dusted with some black, uh, some satin black paint just to kind of get an idea how this is going to look. Uh, so this basically, for this stage in the project, uh, this little blister is done. I, I have to do a little more hammer and dolly work, a little finish work, but most importantly, I need to make um, some pieces, some hidden fasteners, if you will, for this. So. What I think I'm going to do is there's a, there's a guy, a couple guys that sell online little like rubber type fasteners that you can press in and pull back out. Uh, the problem I'm having is normally or traditionally you would see this blister would be riveted all the way around the panel. Uh, the problem I have is I have this big support plate that we welded in in the back to hold the steering box and I can't get in there to buck the rivets so it's kind of useless to put a big flange on here and try and rivet it in because I can't get to all the rivets effectively. So I think by making a hidden fastener that this um, blister will just kind of pop in and pop out will be the best bet. So I'm planning to make two little uh, brackets that will go in on either end and they will have like a little mail section that's, that's like rubber and um, that has like a flange on it and then in the body there will be a hole drilled with which you would put the, uh, the rubber grommet through and when you press it in it will hold it in place. I see a lot of guys are using them for uh, like aluminum hood, hood sides, and uh, different body panels, access covers, and stuff. So since this is such a lightweight part, shouldn't be an issue to use it that way. 
but I do need to find those and order them. So uh, instead of dragging the video out with something that simple, to show you the look we got by adding this little blister, I think it really uh, gives it more of an aggressive look. And again, with the inspiration of this being an, a vintage dirt racer or old dry lakes car, uh, this definitely kind of adds to that effect, which is really cool. So that's all I have for this one, guys. I really appreciate you watching. Uh, on Tuesdays, we do videos on the free tea. Fridays, we do videos on adventures, sweetheart roadster, whatever else we have going in the shop. If you want to see my day-to-day -day type stuff, I post a lot of stuff that I'm doing that may not make it to the channel. Uh, follow me on Instagram, at Iron Trap, and you can see whatever's going on. Also, that's a better way if you guys have been trying to comment or message me if you have questions about your projects uh, or you want uh, a little bit of help with something you're thinking about building. Uh, hit me on DM on Instagram. I'm on there pretty, pretty often, and I usually respond a lot quicker than the YouTube mess messages. Thanks, guys. Catch you later.